House of Representatives Committee on Public Accounts has commenced investigation into the spendings of federal government-funded programs in Oyo State as part of its oversight function. The Committee for Oyo State, led by Representative Stanley Olajide, grilled some beneficiaries and administrating agencies in Ibadan. Also grilled were handlers of Conditional Cash Transfer Program, NPower, Homegrown School Feeding Program, and State Universal Basic Education Board. We are members of the public account, and we are here in Oyo State to uh, look at all the government-funded programs. Uh, let me be specific. Empower, a homegrown school feeding program, the cash transfer program, a conditional trash, cash transfer program, superb um, debt fund. And so what we're here to look at is since inception, how much has been appropriated? Who are the contractors? What have you done? What's the value for money? Are people actually benefiting from this program? Because in some cases, there are reasons to believe that our people are not benefiting. So we are here to go through the process, both from a workflow perspective and a process flow perspective. What I mean by workflow is to look at all the different groups for the people responsible. And then from the process flow is how does the money move from the treasury account into the hands of the beneficiaries. So we have to look at everything holistically and come up with a report of how to improve the processes. If there are any inefficiency, if there are corruption in the processes, we'll look at that. I'm not satisfied because um, there are lots of uh, missing links or broken links that still needs to be established. The puzzle, it must fit. If it doesn't fit, something is wrong. So it's still an investigation. We're looking at everything end to end. So the reason why I'm saying I'm not convinced is because I don't have all the data yet. Some of them, have, we have requested them to bring additional information, bank statements, uh, registers of uh, the beneficiaries. So we are going to look at that. Professor Michael Olugunde, the Laotic Vice Chancellor, who led the institution's management to the hearing, described the ongoing investigation as desirable. The committee work, which is an oversight, uh, is most desirable because it enables the government to follow up on the fund that it allocates to any project to ensure that the project is actually completed and made functioning. I think to that extent, the oversight function of the ASOP rent is most desirable.